Hey, uh, what's going on YouTube? It's Captain Hook Tree Climbing. I'm about to do a little climb here. Let's see. I need, I need at least a foot of center. Foot of center, a chest of center, or a chest harness. Grab that. It must be here. Wow. I for sure have a chest harness. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so guys, recently uh, came to market the Fusion Tether for the rope wrench. And I've been climbing on the Fusion Rope Tether for uh, quite some time now. About a month or so. Not, not like a full month, you know, but uh, it's actually much better than what I anticipated. But being that notch made it in all, I expected some some sort of quality to it. You know, notch makes the rope, rope runner pro and all that good stuff. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, the Fusion Tether is a metal tether that is super stiff it can't be side loaded it does have a large uh, profile to it so uh, that's kind of like a downside to it uh, when you're working on spars with it it's kind of I mean it's okay uh, try to run some clips of it being used on a spar
Tether kind of bumps up into your crotch a bit, so into your groin area. So it's a something that is good for probably just climbing. Uh, probably use something else for for the spar. So I'm gonna throw this on real quick. So I'm ecstatic lining. Wow, this line is so good with the rope wrench. Oh man, I, I really like it. I like this setup, it's so good, it, it's so good. The, the fusion tether is, oh man. I really hope you guys buy one. Especially if you're looking into just buying a rope wrench and all. So if you're looking to buy a rope wrench, please, please make sure that you uh, consider this this tether for it because this tether is like none other it really is it's a good tether man I, I wish I had this tether when I first started climbing with the with the rope wrench it's very stiff it kind of like once you you know it's just kind of ready it readies the rope wrench to be engaged like it's right there there's no waiting on it, uh, nothing like that. And I am going to be doing some kind of a anchor and I need this, I need to take this off. <laughs> but look, look at this. Look, all I have is two pieces of equipment that are just, super simple before we used to have a tether one piece a pulley one piece and then a third is your hitch and the fourth is your carabiner right now we just have three pieces so the two most important the rope wrench and the tether the pulley it's all in one I mean just saves you so much time it's so easy to put on uh, you guys are gonna see very soon how easy it is to use it. I basically just tethered two ropes together with a small carabiner. All right, so I'm gonna make a, bowling on a bike. Fire it up here. Yes. Now my hitch cord is uh, somewhere in the world right now. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Let's grab a lanyard, and then we'll head over there to the fusion tether, uh, so I can show you guys how simple it is to attach to your rope. It makes the rope wrench uh, more likable to me, honestly. Alright, so here's my knee ascender. It's actually really good. <laughs> oh, this thing works so good. Alright. So I'm going to take this one here. Excuse my sniffles. Uh, it is definitely 
a cold day out here and we're about to get snow tomorrow uh, I think today is the 25th of January uh, for those of you wondering alright got my carabiner uh, so yeah you see all in one threw that on already look how quick that was just like that I was able to clip in there uh, so next I love 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 the me truck on so I take three wraps just like this three or four sorry so yeah four take four yeah. and then we come up under the bridge there take the first loop take the first loop hostage just like that and now look at that it's already it's getting engaged already right there and then you're pretty much engaged it's, it's so good other other tethers don't do this for you it's like it has a little bit of preload action to it i really like it So, got all my stuff ready. So yeah, uh, definitely try to go up with uh, a handsaw as much as you can. Um, it is in the Z, so climbers, bucket operators, we should, we should have a handsaw with us anytime we're working in the tree at height. You will. Alright, so we're gonna check out how how well these uh little uh chest harness attachments work. I mean I think they work fine. Fine is good, but uh, I mean, uh, I'm spoiled, so I've used all kinds of. I mean, the zigzag doesn't really have a attachment point, so thank you, Notch, for being so mindful. So, do need that. So we're going to be working right out there. Let's go ahead and Go ahead and take a look. Alright, so what I want to do 
now that I'm here, I just quickly uh, just redirect myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this redirect in place. And that works. Okay. So whenever you start putting redirects, one thing you'll notice is you get nice and spongy. Uh, So I need to tighten up this hitch bit. Put the weights a little bit better. And there it goes. I think that's all, all I needed. Alright. So I think I'm good to go. Let's go ahead and just uh, see how this thing aids me. Really just feels like the rope wrench is working, doing its job kind of thing. Feels like if the tether is, you know, it's, it's working, it does its job. And on top of that, you look so good doing your job with this tether. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip some of these branches here. switched my the bar on my saw I have a 194 so this saw what it does is um it still uses that 193 pico chain and bar but you can now fit it with the 201 bar which uh, to my surprise made it much better a better saw it feels better like beefier, you can push stuff with it a lot better. You got more of that surface area, so whenever you're pushing things, like a push cut kind of thing. Uh, don't really know how to explain that to you guys, but it uh, it makes that so much better. All right, what do here. Well, I need to get out there. I can't just cut it from here because I'm going to lay it down on that guide wire. And I'm not trying to do that. Alright. So 
So, let's do this. Okay. Calling me. Excuse me, YouTube. Hello. I don't know. I guess it was like a robo call or something. Uh, or something. <sighs> but anyway, somebody did not call me with the intention of speaking to me because, well, uh, they left me in the dark. All right. So now. Move down the stem here and clip on. All right. So, guys, here, look, look at that thing. It's not bent all the way down like like this. With other tethers, you get that. With this one, this one kind of has a spring that pushes it up, so it, it stays in its most optimal position ready to be loaded um, that's why I really like this tether okay <laughs> I'm pushing it there for a second but then uh, get caught up <laughs> So, I'm gonna keep that there. Oh, well, probably clip that one there, or maybe not. I think that one would be fine. Well, I just need to make sure that I get this thing away from the wires as best I can. That's the only thing that. Uh, we're doing here with this little branch or this little tree. Okay.
Nice big D rings on this saddle. Love it. All right, so same thing, guys. I'm on a one hand cut here because uh, it's just it's a little too dangerous not to use my hand for balance. <laughs> Keep as much uh, foliage, limbs here, or not foliage, limbs for foliage. Um, this is a, it looks to be a very young maple, and I don't know, I think eventually they'll cut it down. It just looks like one of those kind of trees that you don't want to keep for too long, but you might put it off for a few years. Definitely want the disc branch off though. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that. Alright, so two points of contact, man. That primary, that secondary. Alright. So very important for us to remember that. I purposely don't answer you, man, because it's not that I don't want to tell you the boots I'm wearing. It's just that, you know, I'm not sponsored by these places. Well, I don't want to be giving out, you know, recommendations without sponsorship. Well, speaking of which, if you guys do want to find these boots, you can go ahead and find them at treestuff.com. That's where I bought mine. it to be cutting so good because if you see one rounded tooth I mean what are the chances of another one right <laughs> I think the chances are pretty high Yo! yeah I need these guys to give me some feedback on the trim here on the prune I should say because we're trimming shrubs we're, we're pruning trees two different plants plants nonetheless but 
uh, in size, in genus, in species, uh, different. Yeah, it's incredible. These things are, they're so delicate, yet so powerful. So the producers, they, they're they so delicate, yet they produce the air that we breathe. They, they're pretty much self-sustaining as long as their environment allows for that. Supervisor, Johnny, is on his way. Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, right here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, I see. It's like to the same length as this one, right? Okay. All right, man. You got it. So I got, uh, I got some more instructions on what else we're going to be doing here and I'm just going to go out to this branch all right so there it is uh that is my lanyarding point there i'm gonna go behind a little bit and dirty there. Alright, so I'm gonna grab that branch with my That one right there is gone. And yeah, they're gonna get a bunch of epicormic growth on this because these trees are so small. We're, we're pruning a lot. <laughs> Epicormic growth is, it's basically, um, there's these, uh, these, uh, these Mary stems, these buds that grow within the bark underneath it. And, uh, it is from there that they will be triggered, uh, once they're, uh, I believe they are secondary, um, Mary stems but anyway they're under the bark and once the apical the primary growth uh, is cut so the apical Mary stems are usually out on the tips of the shoots um, once those are lost the tree is then triggered to respond with uh, that secondary uh, those lateral merry stems and it'll make those uh, produce epicormic growth I believe that's how it goes yeah so right now I am currently studying um, to become a certified arborist that is one of the first things that's some of the stuff you need to know. It's going to help you become a better climber in terms of, you know, cutting, knowing what to cut, what not to cut, and it'll help you produce objections to anything that you're told to cut. Um, if, uh, you know, if you're given, you know, the go-ahead to go and prune the tree at your discretion, or whatever, you know. It just helps you bring something else to the table whenever you know things like that.
Oh yeah. Some Mary stems. So Mary stems, uh, that's where all the stem cells are for the the tree. And basically stem cells are cells that have not differentiated, cells that haven't chosen whether they're gonna be xylem, phloem, uh, things of that nature become a, some part of the, of the root. And that's called differentiation when they really choose that. So it is uh, it's pretty cool. It is it's awesome. day I was uh, trying to figure out how how is it better to like swing and so what I did was I um, I very intentionally swung uh, so I put myself exactly where I wanted to be because I wanted to be there uh, so whenever you guys go for a swing uh, you guys want to you guys feeling froggy whatever you want to call it yeah, just feeling like a little bit adventurous. Uh, yeah, you got to you got to commit to it, number one, and you have to do it with 
all your intent. You have to do it with intention. So, right now, I'm just gonna throw myself over there. Like this. And so, yeah. So my momentum was like, I was like uh, going around in a circle. So that's how I brought myself over here. Uh, anyway, it worked out. <sighs> Definitely one thing to keep in mind. But yeah, guys, uh, this fusion tether, as you guys saw, I uh, did did a lot. It, it did extra things that regular tethers don't do for you. The spring in there makes it uh, an absolute uh, most makes it preferable over all other tethers. It does cost uh, what is it? One hundred and fifty dollars. So, uh, for those of you who are beginner climbers or those of you who are uh, are like against mechanicals. Um, hitch based all the way whatever um, but you do SRT with a wrench I would call this a hybrid system so if you're one of those kind of people that do that that have that kind of mindset or you're just a person who loves to uh, acquire gear and board climbing equipment like the captain like this <laughs> then, then you know go ahead and buy it man this thing is it, it makes your life so much easier you're not worrying about losing a pulley uh, the pulley on this is actually really good like it's it's top notch man uh pun intended so with that being said guys notch has created a wonderful tether the the tether and the rope wrench together they're going to run you about 270 dollars right in that price range i think this is 120 this is 150 so you're looking around 270 that's about the price of a of a uh of a zigzag wow just a zigzag alone huh zigzag with no no swivel so yeah that is that's how it it springs up and it stays engaged, man. I mean, it, it, it already, it like, like you know how there's pretension within uh, crane systems, and whenever you're doing crane work, there's pretension. Uh, same thing here, same concept. Like, there's a little bit of tension there, and there's whenever it's being pulled down, it doesn't want to, so it, it kind of springs up for you. And by doing that, it kind of already keeps a it makes the rope wrench uh, easier to engage or even if it's half engaged as opposed to other tethers that don't engage at all zero so yeah that is an advantage it's, it's a huge advantage it keeps your hitch from binding up if your hitch binds up and you guys aren't familiar with that kind of situation it's a terrible situation it's it's a situation that's dreaded really and it's dreaded mostly because you're gonna have to lanyard in somewhere safely and then you have to undo the hitch you, you got no other choice you have to undo the hitch at that point you got no choice that spring really is going to save you time it's going to save you headaches it's going to do what many 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 other tethers would never do for you and uh, that's pretty much all folks. Hey, thank you so much everybody for your For your uh, for your commentary uh, There's a lot of vibrant commentary out there a lot of negative Nancy's as well I mean it is expected we're on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, that's all good and it's all fair game but uh, to those of you who leave truly thoughtful question, you know questions or um, are really seeking knowledge or leave some kind of a comment that that is uh, serves as a resource a future resource to another climber later on I mean you guys are awesome man thank you for that uh, thank you seriously I praise you guys I thank you so much 
I wish you guys the best this year. I wish you guys good health, your family. So till next time, y'all. I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the future. This is gonna be, I think this is gonna be my first fusion tether climbing video. So uh, it's also gonna be the first video or the second video of this year. Um, I'm gonna be, you know, just editing and trying to get more videos out there for y'all. But um, just uh, wait there patiently because a bunch of videos are gonna come out and uh, you guys aren't gonna be able to keep up with them because it's gonna be back to back, man. So till next time, y'all.